Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, June 16, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation ETF. And as you can see, we have pulled back quite uh, significantly today, down 2.73% at this current stage. This just rallied uh, too far too fast and um, got fairly overstretched here in the Bollinger Band and is kind of expected to pull back towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, which is around 111. If that breaks, then we could see this drop back towards 103. That's a massive drop to the downside. And we're talking about dropping nearly the 300 moving average or the previous lows here. So we'll basically see what happens. But uh, MACD is still bullish. The, the RSI is uh, bearish. The CCI is still bullish. And the stochastic is in bullish territory, but has crossed the signal line. So that is an indication that momentum is changing to the downside. If we find support down here at the 20 exponential, then we could rally up towards the 150. Uh, yet again, we are having a crossing here of the 100 and 150. I'll probably have some um, action with it, but still, it looks like we are rallying to the upside. We need to break the uh, middle of the bullish band in order to go significantly lower. So let's look at DVI. So DVI has bounced from the 40 exponential, rallied up towards the 20, and then found resistance. Trading at 120 at this point, uh, technical indicators are fairly all over the place. The MACD is... Um, bearish, the RSI is bullish, the CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is bearish as well. So we're down right here at the bottom of the Bollinger Band to try to rally towards the middle, but really, this can go either way. Um, we're still in uptrend, 50 moving average has offered massive support in the past, so has the 40 exponential, so this looks like basically the same. So we have been trending sideways for quite some time. If we break the 50, then we could be dropping towards the 100 moving average, and that's a drop of 5.5% to the downside. Break of the 20 exponential, well, then we are talking about a rally up towards, give or take, 123, and then 124, 125. So let's look at VTI. So VTI has also pulled back just slightly, 0.26%. We are getting fairly overstretched here, approaching the top of the bullish band. And if we were to break significantly down here, they will most likely find support at the middle of the bullish band, just underneath the 20 exponential moving average. And that's a drop of 1.17%. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the RSI is significantly overbought. We can see the MACD is still bullish, the CCI is still stochastic is still bullish, and the CCI is also bullish. 20 exponential. 40, 50 here have all offered support in the past. So let's look at MCHI. So this continues to drop as expected. We're down 1.43% at this current stage. MACD is crossing the signal line, becoming bearish again. The RSI is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and so is the Castic. We could be dropping towards at least the bottom of the bullish band. And that's another uh, 1.78% percent to the downside or these previous lows if uh, we continue from there then we could see a drop all the way down towards roughly 76 and that's a drop of 4.79 percent to the downside there's not a lot of upside or good news for this at this current stage um, the 50 moving average is probably going to act as resistant from now on and looks like we're going back to where this came from so let's look at um IBB. So this is also down minus 0.19%. Uh, MACD is basically flat. The C uh, RSI is also flat at this point on the edge of being our bot. CCI is bullish, the stochastic is bullish, and uh, we are basically in the middle of nowhere here in the in the Bollinger Band. So if this were to break down, then the 20 exponential should be support, as we saw here. Break below that, then we have the 50 and the 40 exponential that should offer support. Otherwise, we are right at the previous highs, or basically all of my highs here. So if we manage to break above here, then we are looking at the 430, 435 to the upside. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.